In the brain, each thought that you create has its own unique notes tool, which allows you to capture your thoughts on each individual item, whether it's a person, a web link, file, email, or just a random thought. I'm currently on a thought called Sandra Neal. I'd like to keep some notes on a conversation we discussed regarding some upcoming changes to our website. In our conversation, we discussed Sandra sending me a few mock-ups for a new web design sometime next week. I've recorded this in the notes tool on my Sandra Neal thought, and I'd like to add a timestamp. This button that resembles a small calendar will stamp the current date and time wherever I have my text cursor. I like to use this function for each entry that I ever place into my notes. But like I said, the notes isn't just for keeping track of conversations or meetings. I'll use the notes tool to keep track of Sandra's contact information. And of course, an entire array of text formatting is available. I can also copy and paste into notes. I've opened up a web page with some information that Sandra might be interested in to create these new web mockups, and I want to share this with her in our next meeting. I'll simply select the text that I'm interested in, copy, and paste this into my brain. You'll notice that copying and pasting from the web will bring over any metadata as well. But what if I'm only interested in the text and not so much the web links and other metadata? I'll go ahead and remove the content I just pasted in. And now, rather than pasting directly into my notes frame, I'll click Edit and choose Paste Special. The Paste Special option gives me a couple of choices for pasting. It allows me to strip out any metadata by choosing the Plain Text option. I'll go ahead and confirm. And now you'll see that only the text is pasted. Keep this feature in mind if you're ever selecting and pasting content from Microsoft Word, Excel, or any other format where you might not be so interested in the formatting, but just the text. Another option for editing is Code View. I can click on View and choose Code View, which will show me the code behind my notes. I can edit this information here just like I would any other HTML document. And when I'm finished, I can go back to the design view by clicking View and choosing Design View. I can also change the default style for my notes by going to File and choosing Set Default Note Style. Now whenever I enter a note, it will automatically display these default styles that I've chosen. I can also change these default styles under Preferences. In the Brain tab, I'll choose Set Default Note Style and switch back to the default. Another feature under the Look and Feel tab is to enable icons when notes are present. This will add a note icon next to any thought that has a note. In your notes, you might notice some words have a red underline. This is a sign that the word is spelled incorrectly or is simply not included in your personal dictionary. I can right click on the word and find the correct spelling or add it to my dictionary. Notes are also great for keeping track of and making comments on file versions. We already have some web design mockups that we've been working on here. I'm going to go ahead and open the latest version we're working on and save a copy of this as a version 3 so that I can make some notes on what we've done. Notice that this new version is saved directly into my brain on the thought. A couple of other great note features. I can highlight some text in my notes that matches a thought name that I have in my brain and choose the Insert Link to Thought option in the toolbar. This will automatically hyperlink the text directly to the thought with the matching name. So now when I click on this, I'll be taken directly to the web design mockups thought. I can also add a hyperlink to text that goes directly to a website. 
And if I want to keep a checklist of things I need to do, the insert checkbox function is a great feature. And once I've finished something, I can simply check it off my list. The notes currently being displayed are either notes for my active thought or the thought that my mouse is hovering over. This is also an option that can be changed in preferences under the UI tab by either checking or unchecking update tools on highlight of thoughts and links. Now whenever I hover over another thought, it will always display my active thoughts notes. But I prefer the default option, so I'm going to switch this back. And the most important feature to remember, anything that you enter into your notes is automatically indexed and therefore searchable and can easily be found. I'm sure you'll quickly find advantages to using the notes tool in Brains you're creating. Enjoy using the Brain!